Hello, I'm John Lehigh, Water Operations Executive Manager for the Department of Water Resources with a brief operations update on the Lake Oroville spillways. Last October, we introduced the 2017-18 Lake Oroville Winter Operations Plan, which has guided our operational decisions over the past six months. Lake elevations shown as the blue line slowly increased over the winter, but at no time between November and April did the lake reach one of the outflow trigger elevations outlined in the plan. For the majority of the winter, below average precipitation, snowpack, and inflows meant releases to the Feather River were made for minimum in-stream flow and bay delta requirements. But for the most part, DWR conserved water. One exception was the first week of April when storms brought an unusually high amount of precipitation for this time of the year. We increased releases through Hyatt Power Plant to moderate elevation gains in the reservoir. We anticipated possible use of the main spillway, but the storm system was weaker than expected and our Hyatt Power Plant releases were sufficient to keep us well below the trigger elevation of 830 feet. During that week of rain, DWR shared daily updates about reservoir conditions, inflows, and outflows through our news releases, social media posts, and emails to everyone signed up for the community updates. On April 16th, DWR filed its Spring 2018 Seasonal Flood Control Outlet Gate Closure Plan with the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, FERC, and the California Division of Safety of Dams, DSOD. The plan details near-term operations for Lake Oroville, including the final spillway gate closure for the season, as well as anticipated operations and forecasted lake elevations through the end of November. The plan remains subject to FERC and DSOD approval. To ensure public safety, the plan is designed around two related objectives, maximizing the 2018 construction window to ensure the main spillway is fully reconstructed before the 2018-19 rainy season, and beginning the reconstruction as soon as possible this year. The plan establishes a seasonal main spillway gate closure date of May 8, 2018, at which point large-scale construction will begin again. By early July, Lake Oroville storage will be released to meet local water deliveries, flow and salinity objectives in the Delta, and deliveries to state water project water supply contractors. Releases will result in an end of September elevation of 710 feet, similar to last year's lake levels at that time. We anticipate that additional drafting will occur into the fall and that the lake elevation will be below 700 feet by the November 1st phase two construction milestone. This low elevation will also provide a desirable buffer of vacant storage should there be a situation in which the completion of the main spillway was delayed, coupled with any unusual early start to the 2018-2019 rainy season. As of April 19th, the Northern Sierra snowpack was 39% of normal for this time of year. This below average snowpack is projected to be largely melted by early May. As of mid-April, storage was tracking about 650,000 acre feet less than last year at this time and significant additional precipitation is unlikely. Using inflow forecasts that reflect a wide range of conditions, we modeled what lake elevations we could expect with a May 8th gate closure. 90% of the simulations had a maximum pool elevation of 830 feet or less by mid-May. The highest elevation we could expect to see would be 848 feet with the current 30-day forecasts. The main spillway gates are at elevation 813 feet. Although it is unlikely that the lake elevations will exceed 830 feet this season, we have coordinated with Kiwit to assess any risks of having water behind the main spillway gates and have concluded that it would not pose a significant impact on safety or construction schedules. Once the lake surpasses 813 feet, DWR anticipates some water to leak through the gates onto the main spillway. Minimal amounts of water have passed through the main spillway gates since the original construction, and the gate seals were replaced in 2014 and 2015. Releases from Hyatt will ensure that reservoir inflows produced by late seasonal precipitation and snow melt can be adequately released. The river valve outlets are available as a contingency in the event of an unexpected loss of capacity at Hyatt. DWR will continue to inform the public about lake levels, construction activities, and spillway operations. 
DWR is committed to ensuring public safety and safe operation of Oroville Dam. For more information, we urge you to visit DWR's Facebook page or DWR's Oroville Spillways Incident webpage. If you have any questions or want to provide comments to DWR, please call 1-800-248-7026 or email oroville at water.ca.gov. Thank you.